Kanji. Kanji. Uh. I need to get up. It's 5 a.m. Hmm? Ready? Mm-hmm. Uh. The alarm just went off. Uh. I'm tired. I need you to iron that for me. But you're not the one that gave this to me. Oh yeah, I changed my mind. It's just something about it. Please help me do this. I don't want to be late for work. Tony, I have a job too. I don't want to be late. Wait, wait, the same job I've asked you countless times to resign from? And I have told you countless times that I, I am not ready to resign from my job. Please, I need to shower and get ready for work. You have to manage the one I already ironed. Come here, come here, come here, come here. What's your problem? You've been acting grouchy all morning. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you know how much I hate iron. Come on, do for me. Hmm? Hmm? Come on. Hmm? It's okay, Iron. Yes, you're the best. This is why I love you. Look at my. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, your phone is ringing. I can hear it. Maybe your wife. Mm, that's true. Mm. Oh, fuck. Is she doing? Yeah. I thought as much. Mm, but don't worry, I'll call her back later. Okay. For now, I just want to enjoy the moment, okay? Okay. Don't worry about it. Mm. Hello. Hey. What are you making? Noodles. I don't understand why. What do you mean why? For us now. For us. I know told you I wanted to eat noodles. Honey, please. You just have to manage this, okay? I'm too tired to make something else. You are too tired to make something else. I don't understand. Is it my fault that you're tired? So you're tired, I should suffer for it. Tony, please, don't start. I don't have strength to quarrel. Look, I'm not even about to quarrel with you because I equally do not have strength. Um, what I want is, I want to even, you know, the traditional white rice and stew. What? Tony, that, that would take so much time to prepare. Uh, honey, please understand me. I don't have strength. I'm too tired. I'll make that for you in the morning. Really, you'll make that for me in the morning? Okay. Whatever. Honey, your food is ready. Tony, the table is set. For who? 
I told you I don't want to eat noodles. Honey, why are you like this now? Eh? Can't you pity me? After all the stress I went through in traffic, plus the, the car issue, you still want me to make stew and rice for you? Yes. You are my wife, Angela. And in case you've forgotten, it is your duty to prepare whatever food I want to eat. Not force noodles down my throat. I am not for... <sighs> Tony, I am tired. The key word here is tired. Your, your office is close by, so you may not understand what I go through every day. And that is the point. That, exactly, my dear, is the point. Your job is not letting you function properly as a dutiful wife in this house. Then resign. Am I not supposed to be your priority? So what will I do if I resign? Sit at home doing nothing all day? And what's wrong with that? Huh? Tell me. It's not like we use your salary for anything. Tell me, have I ever asked you for money? Have it's I ever asked you for It's salary? not all about the money. I love what I do. My dream has always been to work in a bank. So your job is more important than me, right? I never said that. Ah, Tony, for, for crying out loud, this is 21st century. Women handle their homes and jobs perfectly. But clearly, clearly, that does not apply to you. Or does it? Please, you're disturbing me. I do my best. I give my all. Just to make you happy yeah. Selfless love And sacrifice Everything I do for you Yet it never seems enough It never seems enough You take it all for granted You throw our love away Yet it never seems enough It never seems enough And you take it all for granted You throw our love away Away, away <laughs> Talk about marrying the best wife in the world. My Angie baby. <laughs> uh -uh. Oh, you are talking. Uh -uh. My sweet baby Angie. Filter. So guys, we're about to go. Ha! Come on! <laughs> Come here, baby girl. Uh, see you colors. <laughs> You look Maybe very so fine. Come, 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 come and join us now. So mm. we're about to go for our friends. Okay, our video. Bed, and it's gonna be fun. Oh, look at that babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> come, let's be going for our party. Jello rice will finish. Take pictures now. Come yeah, down. Yeah, okay. Let's just do some. Oh, hold on. My phone. Who's that? My husband. <laughs> Hello, honey. <sighs> Yes, we're about leaving now. What favor? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Tony, I can't do that. You should have told me before now. Oh. Okay, I'll call you back. What? Babe. I don't think I will go to the party. Why? It's Tony. He wants to host his friends here this evening. And what has that got to do with our Owambe? I need to go to the market. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. You want us to miss our friend's party because a group of adults are gathering to hang out. I need to do the cooking now. Says who? What's the internet for? They could have something online to eat. Online? Yeah. No, my husband would never That do is that. because you let him get away with everything, Angela. See, 
You need to live your life, honey. You're in a marriage, not a prison. But I am living my life. Say school like that. You literally walk, talk, breathe Tony. Well, is that not how it's supposed to be? Ah. He's my husband. <sighs> uh, babes, relax though. It's because you're not married. Calm down. Uh, uh, no, I will have to caught you right there. Why is that every single time I try to talk about this thing, you bring up the fact I'm single? No. Hey, honey, I'm single, I'm single. I'm no kill person. Babes, I didn't mean it that way. Uh, 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 yeah, madam, but... calm down no, now. No, 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 I'm going for the party, okay? Since you don't want to go, I'm leaving. A anyway, um, have fun at the party. Before, of course, I definitely. Mean, if you come back, oh. Just you need just to come. Ah. Voila. Hey. Just did like a statue, just something now. Mm, not tonight. You know how today was for me. And how was today? I can't believe you just asked me that question. Have you forgotten I spent the whole day in the kitchen? So? <sighs> Tony, I'm human. I'm not a machine. I'm really tired. Ah. And besides, tomorrow is Monday. I still need look, to wake look, up okay. and prepare. It's okay. It's okay. I don't want um, a long speech. Let's just go to bed. It's okay. Mm. Honey, please understand me. I'm really exhausted. I can't. But why are we still having this conversation? Like you rightly said, tomorrow is Monday. Let's go to bed. You're not upset, right? No. Nope. I am glad, as you can obviously see. Tony, I... Angela, good night. Good night. I must say, you look really beautiful. <laughs> I know. Thank you, though. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart! What a surprise! Hey, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, darling. Who is she? Um, this is Miss Sosai, a prospective client. Um, I'm hoping after this meeting she will become a client officially. Mm -hmm. I hope so, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is my lovely wife, Angela. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, darling, let me leave both of you. I actually came to pick up my lunch. I'll All meet right. you at home, baby. All right, I'll, <clears throat> I'll try not to be late. Okay, better don't be late. <laughs> yes, dear. All right, bye. You are a fantastic liar. I give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> well. You are not bad yourself. Mm. So finally, I get to meet your wife. She's beautiful, you know. Yeah, she is. Just like you. I know. All right, put it here. Mm -mm. Calm here, baby. Mm. Mm. Baby, I hope you're enjoying your food. Mm. I'm more than enjoying it. I'm loving it. Your cooking keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you staring at me like that? I mean, there's something I would like us to discuss. Oh, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Baby, we need the help. 
in this house. The workload is too much for me. I go to bed tired and wake up tired every day. It's beginning to tell on me. A help? Yes. I need to have time for myself. There's always something to do around here. And it's, it's not been easy for me. You want us to bring a total stranger into our home? Haven't you heard the evil these people do to their employers? I know. We will be extra careful. Uh, besides, he or she won't have to live in our house. Angela, you're really serious about this? Yes. Honey, I can't cope anymore. My job is suffering. And now you are talking. Now you are talking. Hmm? Because you see, I knew you were headed towards a direction. All this talk is all scheming and plotting. The real thing you wanted to discuss about, you want to talk about your job. You want to help in this house so that you have more time to focus on your job, right? No, it's not about my job. It's about my health and my general well-being. Mm, that's okay. My answer is simple and straightforward. No. What? Yes. I am not going to entertain the idea of letting in a total stranger just so you can enjoy being a banker. No, you're getting it all wrong. No, I am not. If your job is stressing you or not making you perform your duties in this house, it's simple. Resign. No, but I, I don't want no, to... No, no, no. I am done having this conversation, okay? Will you please allow me to enjoy my food, no. please? No. Let's talk about this right now. I just said I am done having this conversation. I actually thought you had something more important to talk about. Like what? Like blessing this marriage with children. I do my best. I give my all. Just to make you happy. Selfless love. And sacrifice everything I do for you. Yet it never seems enough. It never seems enough. You take it all for granted. You throw our love away. Hey, babe. Hey. When you're done with that, do you have something else to do? Yes. And what's that? I have to make lunch. Oh, no. You can skip that. We have to be at the hospital. We have an appointment. And when did we make this appointment? What for? Well, unlike you, I would love to be a parent. But we've gone through this before, and there's nothing wrong with us. Yeah, I know nothing is wrong with us, but there's no harm in trying again, you know? So why didn't I know about this before now? Babe, it's not a big deal. I forgot. You forgot? Tell me I'm your wife! Stop treating me like a servant. Even a servant deserves better. Angie, you're raising your voice. I'm tired. Tired of what exactly? How can you treat me? We talked about hiring a help and now you're back with booking an appointment without my notice? Why is that? Well, unlike you, I recognize things that are important and things that are not. And if having children is not on your to-do list, well, it's on mine. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, that was harsh. I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry. Hey, babe. I'm sorry. Come, come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I will never intentionally say anything to hurt you. I'm sorry. You know what? Please. It's okay. It's okay. It's mm. fine. It's okay. You sure? It's okay. Then you know what? Just go and get ready so you don't miss our appointment. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, baby. My oh, baby. Smile for me. Ah. What? You just flipped on me. No, babe. Okay. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Stop crying. Okay. Give me five minutes. <laughs> All right, love. My baby. <laughs> Oh. The tests have shown that both of you are fine. So there's nothing stopping you from taking it. If that's the case, then why is my wife not taking it? Well, other factors may be responsible. Like stress, right? Maybe. Recent studies have found links between women's level of day-to-day -day stress and lower chance of uh, pregnancy. I hope you're listening. Don't you think this is the right time to quit your job? Tony, my job doesn't stress me. It is the chores I do in the house that stresses me out, which is more reason I need the help. Doctor, can I ask you a personal question? Sure, go ahead. Do you have people, you know, coming to your house to work, to help with things? Yes. I actually have a cook and a cleaner. I can't combine the work at home with this here. So they make life easier for me. But that's because you have children, right? Yes, I do. Thank you very much, Doctor. We'll take our leave now. Away, away. It's okay. Please, be patient with each other. Children will come. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. <laughs> wow, man. One One Odogu. How's old town? Man, old town is bubbling. That's the pond never ends. You know? <laughs> um, honey, Captain. please take his bag to the guest room and make something very, very delicious. Yeah, man. definitely. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry. I know the guest room. I would take the bag in myself. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Yeah. I'll be in the kitchen. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. Bros, what was that about? What was what about? The way you spoke to your wife. As if she's your help or something. Oh, calm down. You exaggerate a lot. I am not exaggerating. I'm serious look, here. Look, look, look. You've only just gotten here, okay? Huh? Bros, you know me. Even though you're my older brother, I still say the truth at all times. Yes, you do. You've just got in here. Get into the guest room, freshen yourself up, and then uh, we'll talk later, okay? <laughs> we definitely have to discuss this later. Yeah? Look at you. <laughs> the 183rd Manchester Derby, the first and only <sighs> the last to be played in an empty stadium. <sighs> Just enjoy the game. <laughs> and he whips it in, and the header just over the top from Harry Maguire. He's an obvious target. And now at the other end, City break with Jesus. The Bruyne is up with him. And now Mares. Mares, what a great block at the rebound over the top from De Bruyne. Oh, that's in his best. What are you doing? By far at a crucial block. Moving the plate. No, you don't have to do that. Angela will take care of it. Bros, it mustn't be a woman's job. What is that supposed to mean? It mustn't be a woman's job. That's what it's supposed to mean. Suit yourself. Sterling goes for goal. Well wide of that near post. Hey, good morning. Hi, good morning. Why are you up so early? I want to make breakfast. Breakfast? Isn't it too early for that? My husband loves to take homemade food to work. Wow. And um, you do this every other day? <laughs> yes. He loves his food fresh. Wow. And you still have to get ready for work after this? Yes. Hmm. I see. 
Could I, don't you think you need a help or something? My husband disagrees to that. Disagrees? What exactly does he do? He provides. I know. I mean, what chores does he do in the house? Uh, well, he... Angela, don't lie for him. He doesn't. Does he want to kill you with chores? Henry, it's not that serious. I'm not complaining. Do you need any help? Uh, no, no, I don't. Are you sure? You don't mind? Of course I don't. <sighs> Didn't you say you have that interview today? Yes, I do, but it's for 11 a.m. I still have a whole lot of time to queue. Okay, yeah. If you can help me, <laughs> slice it too much. <laughs> All right, let me wash my hands. All right, okay. Oh no. I'm fine. How was the interview? Man, it was great. Oh, okay. Are you positive you'll get a call back? Of course, yes. I is that interview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I trust you. I trust you. Man, Lagos <laughs> traffic is something else. <laughs> you never see anything. Really? I'm, I'm just glad I listened to Angela. You know, she advised me to leave the house by 8. Mm, the good thing you listened. If not, you'd have missed your interview. Tell you, mm. this country is just something else. Can't ah. the government do something about the whole thing? The people are suffering. Well, you think they care? What about Angela? Have you called her? Where is she? Uh, yeah, she, she's on her way back. She's stuck in traffic. That's bad. Mm -hmm. um, I'm famished. I'm very famished. And you know what I need now? What? That a goosey soup that Angela made yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Help yourself. Uh, uh, Eman, join him. Umba. I'll wait for, um, for Angela to come back. Ah. Okay, straight to the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Have you had something to eat? Oh, yes. How do you feel now? Much better after taking the painkiller. Oh, that's nice. And what are you doing here? You should be upstairs and resting. I want to make something for my husband. Something like what? Swallow. All right, let me make this some more and then move the soup. <sighs> There's no need for that. My husband doesn't eat a particular soup more than once. <laughs> You're playing, right? Are you saying Tony doesn't eat a particular soup twice? Yes. Even when you just came back from work with a headache? I'm already used to it. No. This is not something you should be used to. This is not nice. Of course I can make the supplies in two weeks. Yes. Uh, sorry, you said. Forgive me, I was distracted for a minute. Um, let me call you back. I have something to um, sort out, yeah? Thank you, thank you. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Mopping the floor. Why? Because I live in this house and I think it is my responsibility to keep the environment clean. <laughs> You're so funny. You don't need to do that. Listen, Angela cleans the entire house every Saturday. You see? That is the problem. Angela cooks. Angela cleans. Angela mops the house. What chores do you do? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Let me stop beating about the bush. Hmm? 
I don't like the way you treat your wife. And how do I treat my wife? What chores do you do in this house? I don't understand. Where is this coming from? Wait, did Angela complain to you? Angela didn't complain to me. I have eyes. I can see how stressed she is. Wait, you have not stayed in this house for three minutes and you want to start telling me how to run my home? Bro, what I'm saying is allow her to get a help. Oh, now I see where this is coming from. Put me up to what? Oh, yes, she did because I refused her request to get her house help. She's come to you to get through to me. Not so. Angela didn't tell me anything. Okay, the other day she came back from work and she still had to make okra of soup for you. Huh? That reminds me. How come you don't eat a particular soup twice? Well, I don't. Is there a problem with that? Since when, bro? We're in race that way. <laughs> Listen, Henry, yeah? In life, change comes with growth for some people. I do not have an issue with your eating habits. But all I'm saying is the stress is stalling on her. Look, look, listen. You cannot come into my home and tell me how to run my affairs because I let you run your mouth. Bro, come on. Allow Angela get the help. The stress is telling on her. Do you want to kill her with Charles? <laughs> I can see you have lost your manners. Need I remind you that you're talking to your elder brother? I haven't said anything wrong yet. I am still... Saying... Listen! One more word from you and you will not like what I will do. You know me well, Henry. What is going on here? What are you two arguing about? Nothing serious. You know your husband. He doesn't take to corrections easily. You're mopping the floor? Yes. I woke up too early and um, I decided to do something meaningful with my time. Oh, wow. Mm, at least... Um... My work for today has reduced. <laughs> right? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, oh, please go. I don't need distractions. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I'm fine. I knew I would find you here. Mm-hmm. Your brother is craving for a goosey soup. Why is he always craving for one food or the other? Is he pregnant? Ah, bring your voice down. Do you want him to hear you? Angela, I blame you for his attitude, man. You spoil him way too much. Why? Why? Because he's my husband. Okay, does he spoil you at all? Of course, in his own little way. Well, it must be very little because for the past few days I've been here, I have not seen him spoil you. Really? Well, let me change the topic. <laughs> I came to tell you I'm leaving. You're leaving? I thought you said you stay here to the end of the month. I will still be in Lagos, but I want to be at my friend's place for now. At your friend's place? Why? But we have lots of rooms here. You can... Wait, hold on. Are you fighting with your brother? Of course not. Then what is it? I and Tony are cool, but I just want to be at my friend's for now. Don't lie to me. Because I noticed both of you have been acting weird lately. Angela, trust me, it's nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Okay, if you say so. Of course. Then I believe you. And um, I must thank you. You've been a very wonderful host. Um, uh, no, thank you, because you've really been helpful. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'll miss you, though. I'll miss you, too. <laughs> and um, please. 
You also need to take as much rest as you can. Oh, sure, I will. Alright. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let me help you out. Help me? No! This is for ladies. Come on, don't do that. Says who? Come on. Really? I wasn't raised that way. You see why I said I'm going to miss you in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Thank you. You're very much welcome. Amaka, what happened? I don't know, we were walking in the office when all of a sudden she just fainted. <gasps> just like that? Just like that. Have you, have you seen her uh, or have you seen the doctor? No, they just kept me waiting here. I'm just sitting and waiting and they took her inside immediately and nobody's even talking to me. I'm just sitting down here waiting. I, I don't even know what is happening. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, I'm just, 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 Since, since I think you should just calm down, okay? I'm sure she's going to be fine. Nothing is going to happen to her. I hope so. I, I really hope so. Yeah, we are praying. You Hey. Hey. You good? Yes, I'm better now. So, um, I was going to ask you, baby, hmm? when are you quitting your job? Ah, Tony, please don't start. No. I have to, and we have to talk about this now. You are quitting that job whether you like it or not. Oh, you know I love my job. And I love you. I love you, babe. I'm not going to sit back, watch you kill yourself over some love for, for a job. So what will I be doing if I quit my job? Have you thought about that? I never planned to be a housewife. I know, I know, and I've thought of it. You could start up a business. A start of a business. Yes. Oh, baby, are you sure you will do this? Are you sure you will start up a business for me? Babe, you know I'll do anything for you. Come on. It's okay. You give me some time to think about it. Okay. I will. You'll take your time. Come up with whatever business you want to do. I'll support you. No matter the amount of money to take. <laughs> Come on. You know, some money now, we probably. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. But I miss my job, though. You know, I love being a banker. I know. I know you love being a banker, but trust me. Trust me on this one. You would love being a businesswoman better. You think so? I know so, my love. Mm -hmm. I love you, right? I love you more. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. I can't believe you want to quit your job because your husband told you to do so. Yes, I want to start up a business. Babes, seriously, I need business ideas. If you have any, just share, okay? Please, Angela, please. I am begging you with every single thing you hold there. Please do not do this, it's risky. Risky? <laughs> Isn't life all about risk? Huh? <sighs> I'm like, I'm doing this because of my marriage, okay? Tony doesn't want me to faint again. You know my husband now, he's always all over me. Have you even taken your time to critically, critically think about what you're about to do? Yes, I have thought about it very well. And 
I mean, I, it wasn't easy, especially now that I'm getting to the peak of my career. Honestly, babe, I don't know you anymore. I don't. What do you mean by that? Don't get. The Angelo of three years ago would never do a thing like this. <laughs> well, you know what they say, marriage humbles the proudest. If this is what marriage does to a person, then I will rather remain single. Hey, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I mean what I said, honey. Okay, fine. So be it done to you according to your words and thoughts. Amen to that. A big amen to that. Babes, please, let's, let's get serious. I seriously need business ideas. I beg. I'm mm -hmm. serious. No, I can't help you. No business is not my thing. Okay, fine. I'll just Google it. I don't want to waste time so that Tony would not say I'm not serious. See, Angela, I'm surprised you're not seeing what Tony is trying to do here. See, Tony is doing this on purpose. He doesn't want you to have a source of income so he can control you. And you know this because... This is what men do. He just wants you to sit around, wash, clean, cook for him. Amaka, if you were not my friend, I would have thrown you out of my house right now. This is bitter, honey, but someone has to tell you. I can't believe you want to quit your job because of a man. Sorry, your husband. But then... What is it? I'm hungry. You're hungry? Mm-hmm. I thought you just had dinner a while ago. Well, I ate a little, but um, babe, that is not just. That's like a couple hours ago. I'm hungry. Then go to the kitchen and serve yourself now. You didn't have to wake me up. I'm tired, please. I had a busy day. Look, babe. You know how much I hate the kitchen, let alone to serve myself, huh? Tony, I'm really exhausted. If only you, 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 you knew how much work I had in this house. 
You will not wake me up like this. Please, have to pity me or... Ah. Angela, what's all this? Really? What's all this? I am your husband. Isn't it your duty to serve me? Huh? What, I have to beg in my own house to, 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 to get food? What's all this now? Tony, when have I not served you in this house? When? Just this once I asked you to go to the kitchen and serve yourself. You're getting angry. Okay. You know what? I will just go to a very good restaurant to get myself food. Hey, wait, hold on. You will go out and get yourself food when there is food in this house. Well, you've left me with no other choice. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll go to the kitchen, dish your food, and serve you. Leave yeah. me. Leave me. <laughs> My love. Leave <laughs> me, John. No, I love you, baby. <laughs> um, I want the head of fish, the big one. Baby. Mm -hmm. You've not said anything about the business. Idea I told you I have. It's because business have not really been good. Really? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to bog your head with it. That's what happened. So what is the problem? The customs. They are my goods. And what they're demanding for the release, it's much. Huh. Baby, still, you should have told me about it. Look, baby, I can give you part of my savings so that you can get your goods released. You can give me later. No way. I'm not taking your savings. Baby, you're not taking. You're borrowing. But still, I don't think I should. But I want to. I can't just keep money when my baby needs it. My business can wait until you're settled. Mm? You're the best. And I love you, right? I love you too, babe. Hey, babe. How's my baby doing? Mm. Babe. What's going on? What's wrong? Why didn't you talk to me? What's going on? You're crying. How long have you been cheating on me? How long has this been going on? I'm not... I'm not cheating on you. No. <laughs> so how do you explain this? Where did you get these pictures? Shouldn't I be the one asking you these questions? What were you doing with another woman in a hotel, Tony? What? Babe, I'm really disappointed in you. Yes, I am. What, someone sends you 
pictures of me and a lady together in a, in a hotel. So what? And all of a sudden you concluded that I'm cheating on you. Really? What do you want me to think? No. What do I want you to think? I'd rather you ask me what was going on. Well, for your information, myself and the PRO, we had to visit several hotels because we're doing inspections. Our foreign counterparts are coming over for visits. The lady you, you, you see in that picture happens to be on the, on the PR team. Really? No. You know what, if you, if you doubt me, if you doubt me, you can come with me to the office tomorrow to confirm. No, no, there's, there's no need. No, don't bother. How, 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 how did you even think? How, how did it come to your mind that, that I would cheat on you? Really? <laughs> how, how, how did that even cross your mind? Honey, I'm, I'm don't turn me. me. Don't. I, I saw the pictures and I got really upset. Who sent them to you? No, don't, don't bother about that. It doesn't matter. It matters. It matters, Angie. It matters that I know who sent those pictures to you because whoever did definitely wants to destroy the happiness in our marriage. No, that's not true. Amaka would never do such... Oh. No, Amaka, I've always known that she's up to no good. She doesn't like me. She doesn't like the happiness in this in this house. You you, you really think she has your best no, interest at heart? That's not true. Amaka is my friend. She can't do that. I'll say you said so. I'm sorry. Honey, I'm... Angela, good night. I'm, I'm so sorry. doesn't count, does it? What is that just supposed to mean? It's simple. It's what you get for meddling into other people's problems. What, what, what are you driving at? Oh, please don't pretend. I know you sent those pictures to my wife. What I do not get is what you're playing at. Which pictures? Oh, please do not stop pretending. She told me everything. Oh, what? You surprised? She's my baby, of course she'll tell me. That's how you go about ruining people's marriages, destroying homes. Little wonder you're still single, because you go about opening Just your big mouth. When you don't even dare try to insult me. See, you can deceive Angela for all you care, but you can't do that to me, okay? I can see right through you. Really? So tell me, what do you see then? I see a wicked, manipulative man. You just want Angela to quit her job, stay at home. Oh, so shut you... up! Now, listen to me. The next time you pull a stunt like that, you won't like what I will do. You can't do anything. Silly bitch. You useless man. You can't do anything. Stupid thing. Hello? Hey, Mom? <laughs> I'm fine. How are you doing? Hi, is Dad. <laughs> yes, my husband is fine. <laughs> yes, Mom, I, I know. I have it in mind. Mom, no, let's not talk about it now. Don't worry. I'll call you later. I'm doing something. I'll definitely will call you back, okay? <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. I'll call you back. I mean it. 
Okay, take care. I love you. Bye. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hi, hey, baby. baby. <laughs> Who was that? My mom. She said I should say hi to you. Oh, that's great. That's great. How's she doing? She's fine. Mm. All right. Um, babe, yes, there's something I want to talk to you about. Okay, what is it? Okay, so, um, I wanted to tell you this, you know, for a while now, but it's not been easy, and that's because Amaka, she's begged me several times not to tell you. What is the problem? Is there... Okay. What is it? Come sit. Sit down. Amaka tried to seduce me once. She did what? Yes. She even tried again recently. She's been stalking me. She follows me everywhere. I'm sure that's how you got the pictures in the first place. Honey, how... How can you keep something like this to yourself? I didn't mean to. I mean... She's practically the only friend you have. She's your best friend. I didn't want to ruin this, the friendship. What nonsense friendship is that? Eh? I would rather be alone than to have a friend like Amaka. I can't believe this. This is unbelievable. You need to calm down. This is why I didn't want to tell you. I need to break your heart. I am more than heartbroken. Amaka is, is more than a friend to me. I see her as my sister. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so sorry. Oh, honey. I should be the one apologizing. I can't believe Amaka would go after you. Her best friend's husband. Hey, these things happen. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I, I can't believe it's it okay. happened to me. I mean, it's okay. Please, can we stop talking about Amaka already? No, don't let it bother your head. It's all right. It's fine. It's okay. Hmm? Hello, Amaka. I'm good. Are you free tomorrow? Nothing much. I just want us to gist. No, I won't be able to come over. I have a lot of things to do tomorrow. It's fine, if you come over, it's fine. I'll be expecting you. Okay. Big God. You need to see the sun outside. It's not smiling at all. Like, it's super hot. Fuck. Wait. What's the problem? 
you don't look happy. That's because I'm not happy at all. It's Tony. What has he done this time around? Hmm. Amaka. Wait. Is there something I should know about you and Tony? <laughs> Wait, he told you I insulted him, right? Hope he also told you he almost crushed me with his car. What are you talking about? You tried to seduce my husband. <laughs> okay. This has to be a joke, right? Who is joking? You're serious. Ah, Amaka, I am I am so ashamed of you. We've been friends for like Hold forever. it there, Angela, hold it. Tony told you that I tried to seduce him and you believed him. Don't even try to deny it. Tony will never lie about a thing like this. Oh, when I'm the liar, I would lie about a thing like this. You know what? I called you here so that I can hear your own side of the story. But since you're just going to stand here and deny it, I don't think there's any point at all. Angela, look, there is no side to any story coming from me because it never happened. See, even if I wanted to, wanted to do someone, definitely not a man like Tony. Hey, don't you dare insult my husband. I, I think we're done here. You know what? Amaka, as far as I'm concerned, this friendship is over. Get out of my house. Tony is lying against me and he's obvious. Can't you see it? Amaka, I said leave my house this minute. Get out of my house. Angela, Angela. Leave my house. Take your bag. Get out of my house, husband snatcher. Go. Get out of my house. Leave. And shut the door. Nonsense. I said shut the door. What's the problem? You look really sad. Did something bad happen to you? I'm sure Angie gave her, you know, hot thoughts. Silly girl. She'll learn to mind her business. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Honey. Hey, baby. Welcome. How are you? Uh, I saw Amaka leaving the house while I was driving in. Yes, I confronted her about what she did. Oh, you did? That's good. What did she say? She denied it. I knew it, as expected. <laughs> She's such a liar, you know. You know, I, I officially don't have a best friend anymore. Come on. Doesn't matter. You make new ones, okay? Just that I feel so bad about this whole thing. Maka really hurts me. I know, but it's fine. Come on, listen. Sometimes the people that are closest to us, they hurt us the most. You know that, right? Yes. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Hmm? Okay. It's my baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Honey. Yeah. You've not said anything about starting the business for me. That's because I don't have the money yet. Okay, well, what about the money I lent you? If you give it to me, I can at least start something small. 
until you're ready to support me. Angie, how else do you want me to say that I don't have money yet? Well, baby, you got your goods two months back and you're almost done selling them. You've also been getting salary from work. Why are you talking as if you don't know how expensive it is to run this house, coupled with other responsibilities? Tony, it's been months you asked me to quit my job. I'm tired of staying in this house. I need to get busy. And have I said you will not get busy? You will. Just, just give me a little more time. Time again? Tony, you work and run business at the same time. Why can't you keep to your word? I can see you are spoiling for a fight. But guess what? I am not in the mood, so is, you will not get it. Who is spoiling for a fight? I don't get it. I'm asking you to give me the money I lent you. And, you, and you're telling me I'm spoiling for a fight. Tony, I don't even... I, I don't understand you sometimes. Look, I look, look, look. I have money in several things, okay? Money is tied up. Is that okay? Tied to a lot of things. Things like what? Es explain to me. Things like what? Like, explain one of them. Angela, I don't have money! Period! Ah! What is it? Why are you messing with your food? Honey, I've been having zero appetite. I don't know what is wrong with me. Really? That's strange. Usually you wake up in the morning with a huge appetite. Just that I get tired. Every time. I, I can't even... Babe. <laughs> Angie, are you okay? Uh. Are you all right? I think I need to see a doctor. I don't know what is wrong with me. Why are you smiling? What? Can't you see what's going on? I know what's happening. You're pregnant! Come on! Do the math! Oh my god! It's the time of the month, everything, and now you're throwing up! I didn't even think about it. <laughs> wow, this is... You know what? You know what? Um, you have to eat, okay? Because you need all the food. You have to eat and feel good. We finish breakfast. We go to the hospital to do a confirmation. Finally. Finally! You're pregnant! Baby, come, no, come, no, come no, here. No, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, you're pregnant. Oh. Um, come, come, eat, 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 eat. 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 No, you will eat. You will eat. Now, say up, say up. Ready? See. I'm not pregnant, right? No, you're not. I thought as much. Your face says it all. Your wife has breast cancer. We'll know more after the other test results. Doctor, <laughs> you, you mean I, I have cancer? Please calm down. We caught it early. So you have a great chance of surviving it. Maybe.
Ooh. There you go. How do you feel? Good, I guess. I can't wait to be done with this surgery and get it off my chest. Okay. We will survive. We will survive, okay? Honey, I'm so scared. I, I, I didn't see this coming. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, you will be fine. We will get through this. You'll make it. You'll... The surgery will go well. Nothing will happen to you. And I will be with you every step of the way, okay? Hmm? Okay. And goodbye. <laughs> it's okay. When are we telling your parents? No. I'm not telling them. Why? They have to know. I know, but let's just start the treatment first. USA is not close, you know. Your reason for not wanting to tell your parents is because they live in the US. Come on, babe. That's just an excuse. Honey, you know my mom. My mom is down with kidney failure. How would I tell them that they are only child? Only child has cancer. It's going to kill them. It's okay. 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 crying. It's okay. We'll be fine. Doctor. How is she? She's fine. The surgery went well. We were able to remove the tumors. Thank you so much. You are welcome. But it's not over yet. She needs to continue with her radiation treatment. Is that necessary? Yes, it is. Radiation therapy is a, an effective way of removing the risk of uh, breast cancer recurring after surgery. Okay, I'm, I'm just happy we've moved past the surgery stage. I know the feeling. Excuse me. Bed. You should be resting. Honey, I'm tired of lying down. I decided to look for you. Oh, babe, the doctor said you should. That think. I should take some rest, right? And I am. Honey, stop worrying about me. I'll be fine. But I can't stop worrying about you. It's okay. How can I help you? Nothing, babe. It's okay. It's fine. I will, I will. I'm fixing you up something. You just go back into the room, rest, and when food is ready, I'll bring it to you. Okay. Okay. All right, babe. Thank you, Robert. Thanks, dear. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you alright? My head. Sorry, dear. Sorry. 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 Okay. Easy, dear. 
Just need to rest, okay? Rest, 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 rest every time. Yet I'm always tired. I don't want to believe you just raised your voice at me. Because if there is anyone who used to be upset, that person is me. I've been the one doing everything in this house since you fell sick. Wow. So it is my fault that I have cancer. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. I am just tired of everything. The chores, they're killing me. Okay. Now you've seen what I've been going through, huh? You know what, maybe I should just... Yes, do that. Just go. I'm, I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come at you that way. I didn't mean to sound this way. I'm sorry too. I love you. I love you more. She's gone. Thank you. Hi. Hi. My name is Frank. I'm your new neighbor. I leave the shrine over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, you know, I thought it wise to socialize and get to know my neighbors. Um, yes. That's good. My name is Angela. Mm, I see. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Mm. Uh, what about your husband? Oh, he just stepped out. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Do me well to tell him that I came I around. No problem. I yeah. will tell him that. By the way, you have a very lovely scarf. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, see you around. Bye. Yeah. What am I doing? I came to see you now. What? what, what, what? Well, but I begged you. I begged you not to come here. Uh, uh, after you abandoned me with your unborn child, Shh. you were begging me. No, begging us as what? Honey, where is she? Mm. Uh, my name is Shh. Isi. <laughs> it's your ma. You can call me Isi. <laughs> and I'm carrying this child. Child. Yes, child. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't understand. Mm. What is she saying? Hey, mm. just go inside. I will. I would explain. Stop it. Don't do that. No there is she nothing to talk she about. She said she's carrying your child. Yes, I am carrying his child. Everything to you, please. His child. She's carrying your child. Maybe. Yes. Um, we'll talk about this later. Um, I don't touch me. Sorry, yes. You need to start going. Uh, yes. Sir. Yes, Angela, can you see what you call? What did I call? Angela. 
How heartless can you be? Another woman is carrying your child? I don't know how it happened. You don't know how it happened? Wow, that's great. I'm really sorry. I don't know what else to say but sorry. I was going to tell you you felt sick. I didn't want to make things worse. I can't believe this. After all I sacrificed for this marriage, how can you be this wicked? You don't know how to do this to me. I'm so sorry. Stop saying you're sorry! I want that girl out of my house. You want me to kick her out? Yes. This is my house. I want her out of this house this minute. She's carrying my child. I don't care. I don't, I don't care whatever she's carrying. I don't care whatever thing she's carrying. I want her out of my house this minute. Indeed. This is my house too. I guess you've forgotten. My parents gave us this house. Technically, it is my house. Well, if she has to leave, then I have to go to. To hell with you! You can go with her, I don't care! I hate you! Get out of my house! Just go, get out! Go, get out of my sight! Just go. Tony, please don't go. Please. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You know I can't do without you. Please. It's a mistake. I didn't mean for it to happen. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Babe, I've got the perfect plan. You'll love it. See, after she puts to bed, I'll let her go. We'll just take the baby and the baby will be ours. Okay? Please don't cry. Babe, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. Come on. Haven't you? Hey. 
I see, don't be like that. Don't be like what? Everything I'm doing, I'm doing for us. Are you really doing for us? You better be fast about it. I'm running out of time. Oh. You need to relax, okay? Mm. Everything is going according to plan. Trust me. I'm sure. One hundred percent. Don't touch me. Come over here. Give me some sugar. What oh, sugar? Don't you give me some? Come here. Mm. It's heartbreaking, so heartbreaking to know the one close to you who hurts you the most. Oh, oh, how it hurts. Oh, oh, how it hurts. Honey? Honey, are you there? Honey? Where are you going to? Uh, I was looking for you. I woke up, I didn't find you. Oh. Come on, I woke up very thirsty, so I went to get a glass of water. Okay. Do you want me to get one for you? No, I'm fine. I just want you to hold me. Are you okay? I've been shopping. Should I get my car keys and take you to the hospital? No, just take me to the room. Take me to the room, I'll feel better. Are, okay, are you sure we don't need to get to the hospital? No, 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 take me to the room. Take it easy, take it easy. Take it easy, easy, easy. easy. Going to the hospital with Isema, taking off her at all. Why? Can't she go alone? You know we have to see my doctor today. Oh God, yes. I totally forgot. I know you did. Sorry. Sorry. Angie, you might have to go alone. Wait. Wait, the thing is, we're supposed to know the sex of the baby today and I need to be there. I don't want us suspecting anything. Tony, I hope you know what you're doing. I do. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Come on. 
Mm. Mm. Okay. I'll see you in a bit, huh? my best I give my all just to make you happy yeah. selfless love and sacrifice everything I do for you yet it never seems enough it never seems enough you take it all for granted you throw our love away yet it never seems enough it never seems enough and you take it all for granted, you throw our love away, away, away. Away, away. Away, away. I became a fool for you just to keep our love. I almost lost myself fighting for our peace. You left me broken and dismayed, tired and in pain. You forgot that life's a circle And whatever you do It comes back to you Yet it never seems enough It never seems enough You take it all for granted You throw our love away Yet it never seems enough It never seems enough And you take it all for granted You throw our love away
I got cake for you and Oga. And a bottle of wine too. What are you celebrating? It's my birthday. Oh, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Have you been crying? <laughs> no. No. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, it, it looks like you've been crying. Uh, thank you very much for the cake and the wine. And happy birthday to you once again. What do you think you're doing? Help me, sir. You need to... Stop! I don't need your help! Of course you do need my help. This is none of your business. Can you leave my house now? No, I'm not leaving. You need to leave. I want to be alone. My instincts have never been wrong. Angela, what are you planning to do with all of this? Well, there's nothing to live for. There is everything to live for. Well, not for me. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? Angela, what are you doing with this? Huh. Angela, look, I understand that you're going through a whole lot right now, okay? But trust me when I say this, you will be fine. I can never be fine! I will not be fine! If I don't look it, Polly will feel that way. But trust me when I say this, Angela, you will be okay. No, I can't. It's okay. It's okay. It's Man, don't you? You don't understand. Oh, you, please help me understand. Go ahead. I gave him everything. I quit my job because of him. I lost my best friend because of him. Okay. He got another woman pregnant and I forgave him. You did what? I love him so much. Well, obviously, the same man that you love doesn't love you right back as much as you do. Is that why you want to take your own life over a man who cares less about you, Angela? I have cancer too. So that's that. 
Yes. So you see, that is why I always have scarf on. My hair is gone. Do you now agree that there is nothing to live for? Good morning, Angie. Good morning. Can I call you that? I guess so. <laughs> so what are you doing in my house this early? Well, I came to say hello, to say hi, and also know how you're doing and tell you that we will be going out. Hmm. We? Yes, you and I. So where? I can't tell you that. I don't want to go. See, this is the point reason why you have to start coming out. Okay? So you have to go in there, get ready, leave in the next 30 minutes. Okay, fine. Before then, do have a no, seat. No, no, I'm not interested. I'll be right back. All right. Take care of yourself. Just jam the door. Yes. You still haven't told me what you are doing in an uncompleted building. Are you a serial killer or something? I think you know I'm not. Come on. Come. So, um... This was where my sister died. What? Yeah, she took her own life at this very spot. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. So this is the more reason why I haven't completed this building because it left me really devastated. I mean, she was the only sibling I ever had. What happened? Her boyfriend of eight years left her. And refused to marry her. That's crazy. She shouldn't have done that. Really? But she almost did the same thing yesterday. My circumstances and hers are totally different. Are they? I thought so. I think you should complete this building. Do it in memory of your sister. seem lost in thoughts. What are you thinking about? I just remembered my best friend. You miss her, right? Yes. Why don't you call her? What? I've not spoken to her for like months. And besides, I don't think she would answer my call if she knew I was the one calling. You want to use my phone? Uh, I don't think she would want to talk to me. Look after the way I treated her. 
how are you going to know if you don't try? Come on. Sure is a good idea. Yes, it is. Do you have a number at home? Yes, I do. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, Amaka, it's me, Angela. No, 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 hold, please hold on. Let's hear me out. I'll talk to you later. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Guess what? Why is your face like this? Are you okay? What's the problem? The excitement about yeah. guess what guess what guess what yeah. i just got off the phone with my doctor okay and he said i'm in remission and i may be cancer free that's great news yes <laughs> oh my god i'm so happy <laughs> god, yeah, baby <laughs> miss you miss you too so but wait hold on hold on did you guys meet? Wait, wait. It was all my doing. All right. <laughs> Remember, you used my phone to call her. Yes. Yeah. So I used that opportunity to get her number and talk to her. I had to make sure she was here. <laughs> no way. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, baby girl, I missed you. I love. Missed you more. Wow. This is my bestie. <laughs> my bestie. Yeah. Oh, girl. Hug me now. Hug you. Oh wow. Nice, nice. Frank. Yes, I'm ready. You ready to? Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'm coming out right now. All right, take care. What are you doing here? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! No! Mm, mm, I, mm, 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 mm. Get out! My I said get out! No, mm, don't come close. Just get out. I said leave! Get out! Leave.
Hello, Frank. Hello. Are you ready? I don't think I can make it anymore. I'm sorry. Why? What would a change of mind? It's my ex-husband. He showed up. So you're cancelling because your ex-husband showed up? Uh, no, 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 Frank, I... Wow, that is just great. Hello? Hello? But I said I'm sorry. And of course, you too. What do you want? Why have you suddenly appeared in my life again? My goodness, you look so beautiful. Angie, my love, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I what got carried away. What of Isioma and the baby? Where are they? It's a long story. Tell me. I have time. I discovered the child wasn't mine. Really? Yes. You can imagine how I felt. Of course I can. What do you want? Forgive me. Give me another chance. You're still my wife. And I still love you. Wow! <laughs> you must think I'm a fool, right? Huh? Am I not lucky? You still love me? After all this time? Yes, I do. And you please just give me a second chance. That I will s will not happen. I don't know why. And what is she doing here? <laughs> you must be surprised, right? So you thought that your little tale of seduction was gonna hold for so long? Well, um. Sorry to disappoint you then, and I'm here to look at your miserable, lying face. Amaka, please, give him the papers. What is this? Why don't you find out? Yes. What does it look like? The same one you left here and ran off with your mistress. I've signed the paper. So, we are officially done. So, 
get out of my house. And have this. We're done. Get out! I said get out of my house now! Gee. Please, you don't to... bother, okay? Your ex-wife said you should leave. Read my leaves. Ex-wife. So, move on with it. Move on. Out. Move on. Angela. I mean, you've been doing a fantastic job avoiding me this past couple of days. I'm sorry. I had to sort out some things. That you don't know? So are you here to apologize for cancelling our dinner date the other day? Yes. What do you think this wine is for? Wait a minute. Is this not the same bottle of wine I brought to you during my birthday? Yes. And I think we should drink it together. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let me have it. <laughs> okay. That's yours. And this is mine. Mm -hmm. Just help me hold this up while I pop. Okay. <laughs> Come on, don't be. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I got you. Mm. <laughs> Okay, it didn't sound much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. All right, so. Yeah, that's yours. Thank you. That's mine. Okay, I just put it up. Okay. It's fine here. <laughs> so, cheers to. Long life. Love. Happiness. Yes. Mm, what else? What else? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh.
I became a fool for you just to keep our love. I almost lost myself fighting for our peace. He left me broken and dismayed, tired and in pain. You forgot that. It never seems enough, it never seems enough You take it all for granted, you throw all of the way Yet it never seems enough, it never seems enough And you take it all for granted, you throw all of the way